It's, it says that have you ever experienced imposter syndrome and how did you over how do you deal with it? Yeah, that's an interesting question. I, I don't know that I've felt specifically imposter syndrome in the feeling of I don't belong here. Um, as I said, I've had a privileged position. I was an undergrad at Harvard and I, you know, felt like I, I fit in. Um, what I have had enormously is feeling of like frustration of do other people think that, right? You know, there, there, there's imposter syndrome Yes. of like feeling like yourself aren't measuring up. And then there's the frustration of feeling like, you know, you know, being externally validated. Um, and so I certainly feel that all the time. And I, I think it's something I struggle with. And it's a hard part of this field is that because it is such a social field, because we're not just, you know, we're doing physics because we want to understand things and we want other people to understand things. And it's a, it's a communal activity. Um, it's easy to put a lot of self-worth on the sort of external validation you get from how do other people respond to your ideas and, and the things that you've done. Um, What you think is that you still feel that? yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. I mean, Yeah. don't you think that if you... So, uh, I don't know if it works the same for everyone, but if you get, like, um, feedback from community in the, for, in, in the form of, like, getting... postdocs and getting citations doesn't get doesn't that help to you know fight this thing That's an interesting question. It does in that it is something you can point to as mm -hmm. evidence of, you know, feeling validated, feeling successful. Um, I think there's also a degree of personality. Um, I think that there are some people who respond in different ways to external validation versus internal validation. And It's something I struggle with. I think it's, I'm sure it's something lots of people in our field struggle with. Um, Yeah. maybe what I can say is that I don't think that it is an, I don't think that it is a signal of inadequacy as a physicist. And I think that Right. people should, should know that it's not. I mean, uh, so sometimes I wonder if it ever goes away. For example, I'm not going to, you know, name the physicist, but uh, there was a tenured physicist, a, a, a tenured professor uh, who works on theoretical physics. In, it's, he's in our field. And I was talking to him and he said that I don't think that I have done enough in my life. I was like, okay, you are a tenured professor and you still think that. I, So does I, it ever I have go some, away? some tenured professors who I know very well, who, who have expressed similar feelings. I, I, I think that, I think there's a big degree of personality. I think that there are some people who feel this way a lot and some people who feel this way, not a lot. Personally, I don't expect it to ever completely go away. I think Mm that, you know, we're driven by wanting to be successful and, I think that ultimately I'm not sure that there's I'm not sure that that instinct ever goes away -hmm. yeah but I think that as you get more maturity in the field and you get more interaction with people it it's less impactful in that there are more you become many more concrete things you can point to to reassure yourself you know But but um I'm talking about like people who are more mature than us, like they are tenured professor and they still think that. And, and I and I fully expect to always feel some degree of this. I I, I would say, and Hmm. I mean, uh, I, I don't know if the reason to think this is the same, but for, for the people that I'm talking about, most of the most of the time their reason is that they, there is a person who was in their batch or in the or in the same generation that they were, and that person is more successful than they are. So they think that okay, I should have done better so that I could be, you know, as good as this person. So do you think that that happens mostly or is it are the reasons different for for different people to think Um, this? I don't know. I mean, I think that that's definitely a very common feeling. There may be Okay. other related feelings, but I, I, I definitely think that's a very common feeling. And I think that that's not a feeling I would be very surprised if there are any, if there's anyone, no matter how senior who has never felt any degree of that. Um, Okay. Yeah. I Unf see. un Okay. unfortunately, you know, Mm hmm this physics and academia is both a passion and a job. Mm hmm And, you know, when those two things combine, there's, there's tensions, right? There's a tension between the feeling that your self-worth is built up of your, your, is it, is it founded, founded in your career? And, you know, the career aspects are 
fundamentally a little bit competitive, right? I mean, you know, there's a certain number of jobs, there's a certain number of positions. Um, right. And it's, a you know, we're lucky that we get to do this, our passion for as a job. But we have to remember that, you know, it doesn't fully define you, you know, there's more to you than just your job. Sure. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And the YouTube algorithm thinks that you will also like this video.